Hey guys, Denizel here and today I'm gonna tell you about which character you should go for in version 2.5. As you guys already know, we're gonna get 3 characters coming in this version. In the phase 1, we're gonna get Yaimiko and in the phase 2, we're gonna get the rerun of Raiden Shogun and Sango no Miya Kokomi. So the question here is, which character we should go for? So if you are a whale, this video is not for you, but if you are a free to play player just like me, this video is gonna be very helpful for you to understand which character you should go for and which character is gonna be worth it for you. Personally, I don't recommend Sangonomia Kokomi because she's just a healer and if you guys are looking for a healer, there are many other options in the game just like Bannered, Diona, Chichi. These guys give you more than enough healing in your battle. So if you're looking for a healer, then these guys gonna be best option for you. But if you're a Kokomi simp and looking for a waifu material, then you can go for her. It's up to you. So leaving Kokomi, we have two other choices to go for as a main DPS. One is Yaimiko and another is Raiden Shogun. As far as for Yaimiko, we don't know her passive yet other than that she's a catalyst user so in the future when her talents are revealed we're gonna know her better either she's a good dps or not so personally right now i do not recommend yaimiko unless you know about her talents about her passives and about her dps and this leaves us with raiden shogun i personally am a raiden shogun main and i assure you that she is one of the strongest units so far in the game despite the fact she is the electro archon she is one of the greatest dps unit you can get so far in this game let me give you a quick review about her here you can see my raiden shogun's build it's not the greatest build so far but it can carry you in Spiral Abyss. Moreover, about her weapon, I'm using D catch. Look at the stats. Increase elemental burst damage by 32% accurate rate by 12%. This is so far the best weapon you can get for her. As far as for the build, you can see my artifacts. Constellation 0 and about the talents, I've only upgraded her elemental plus to the max level and other are 5 to 6 ratio. Let me give you a quick review about her strength in this domain. Her elemental skill not only buff her but it also buff the whole team, giving an AOE damage on every hit on every single character. So all in all, she's a great DPS unit and a great support. I recommend all of you guys that you guys have a chance to get her just go for her before it's too late. And that's it for today's video please enjoy the showcase and I'll see you in the next video.